The best way to describe Ikakasi is that we are a KZN media lifestyle brand. We are the number one regional commercial radio station in the country. The station was founded about 14 years ago. Today it is the biggest privately owned radio station in the country. When you tune into Ikakasi FM, you'll find more than just music. You'll find a presenter who knows you. Utola umundu okonekta nawe. Umundu wazi yo IKZN is entrenched in KZN and can give you that content that you want from IKZN. We are local, we have a Zunglish culture, and we have a lot of street cred. We are real. What you hear or what you see is, is what you get. We're not trying to be like anyone else. We're unashamed of being for KZN. We put KZN first. It really, really has been a business that punches well above its weight and, you know, has produced so many talents uh, that come out of KZN that have gone on to TV, gone on to radio, in other environments. I'm a presenter's aid to when we get them. It's not about how famous the person is. It's we look at where is the person from when it comes to KZN. Do they have an understanding of KZN? Are they able to connect? We don't want a situation where a presenter is here and the listener is made to feel like they are here. We are those people that live between two worlds, which are Zulu and the English culture, and the people that we cater to represent that. What Gaga CFM is doing for the culture is that, one, we are embracing it, and over above embracing it, we are the trendsetter in the culture. When you look at Gagasi, you Zotola Istayela that is currently happening, you know, when it comes to KZN. We do not follow any trends, but uh, we always are the people to go to to find out what's happening in our space. There's a very big part of what we do which is about real social issues. So from social cohesion to making a noise and creating conversation about social ills such as femicide, COVID-19, we've seen a spike also in our online communications um, and in our digital platform, for example, that a lot of reasons why people are going to that is that we've become a very trusted source of information. We go beyond e-radio when it comes to our listeners. You know, we engage with them digitally as well. With us going into the digital environment, we are starting to learn more and more about who this consumer is. You can no longer go and box a consumer into saying it's a young 25-year-old female from KZN because a young 25-year-old female from KZN can have so many different things. They could be based in Europe and London, you know, pursuing medical degrees. They could be sitting here, you know, being a, 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 a traditional healer. We are like our consumers. Even if you are from KZN and if you've moved to another province, there's still that umbilical cord that pulls you towards KZN. It's really what we call them, we call them the cult localists because within that, you're talking to a multiplicity of people. We are in KZN, we are for KZN, we are KZN.